Have you ever wanted to share audio files uh, within your organization? Let's say you have, uh, you know, like a, like a podcast or some recording, audio recordings that you wanted to share with your employees. Um, how to do that? Uh, if you have Microsoft Stream and you wanted to share audio files using Microsoft Stream, unfortunately, Microsoft Stream doesn't actually allow you to do that. In this video, let's learn how to share audio uh, files on your internet using Microsoft Stream. So uh, what I need to do for that is um, I have, let me show you what I've got first. Uh, like I've already, uh, you know, uh, used Microsoft Stream to host and um, share audio files. And let me show how that actually works and then uh, show you the exact steps on how to get there. Um, so here I am on my Office 365 dashboard. I can click on Stream app. And uh, here in the stream app, I've got a channel called uh, Company Podcast. All right? this, this doesn't need to be a podcast. It can be anything in any other audio files. And here you can actually see that I've got few audio files uh, stored in this right in, in, in Microsoft Stream here. So the way the audio files can be stored in Microsoft Stream is through something called audiograms. Audiograms are nothing but a um, a video version of your audio file, if that makes sense. So the audio is MP3. Uh, format and uh, you have to convert that into an mp4 format uh, I've seen some workarounds or I've actually used these workarounds in the past as well where you can actually upload um, the audio file to your PowerPoint and get the audio and, and then create a video out of that but the audio file uh, when you embed that in an PowerPoint presentation it is quite static in nature it, uh, so audiogram actually creates a wave let's actually look at how that works uh, here planning so i've got a, a sample audio file here so, and you can actually so, see uh, from a migration standpoint. let me go ahead and mute that uh, and here you can actually see uh it's got some bit of interactivity going on there right so it, it creates an audio uh, form uh, a wave form uh, and it also creates transcripts and all that stuff uh, through our microsoft stream uh you can you could pretty much create you know any um, background image and put in any icons or pictures and stuff like that so you can actually make it make your audio file more interactive convert it into an mp4 uh, into something called audiogram so let's look at how to do that uh, the best app i've come across to convert your audio files to a audiogram uh, or the mp4 format is something called a headliner app uh, let me just pick that up here quickly there you go um, the headliner app itself is uh, you can actually sign up for free uh, and you can actually create up to five audiograms per month. Uh, if you create more than five, you get a small watermark on the image and it's not uh, it's not uh, on your face uh, as such. So and it also creates the audiograms at 1080p format. So I've already signed up uh, for a free account. Let me go ahead into the actual uh, back end of the, the app called headliner app right and the first one that you see here is called audiogram visit so uh, what it does is turn your audio clips into short videos with waveform to share on social media so in this case so we're using that uh, to actually share those audio files on our um, Microsoft stream though it says uh, short videos you could actually you know uh, however long your audio files are it just so let's go ahead uh, and upload a file here so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, drag a sample audio file from my collection. And there you go. That's uh, it's actually loading the waveform. I can uh, give it a moment and it created the waveform. As you can see, I can actually go ahead and play the audio form and stuff like that. Right. So it's actually a, a snippet of my recent or uh, yet to be posted uh, podcast, uh, the stories of modern po podcast episode. So here I have, uh, I can actually go ahead and, you know, uh, change the start time and the end time on the clip and all that stuff. So in this case, I'm not going to go and do any edits to the audio clip itself. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click. Um, this also does audio transcription. So if you want to enable that too. So I'm just going to not, I'm not going to use the audio transcription service. Click next. And now you have to choose the, uh, the aspect ratio of how your, uh, you want to showcase your, um, audiogram uh, as, as we are using microsoft stream to showcase our audiogram i'm going to choose the landscape option if you're if you're storing it on linkedin or on uh, like a story on tiktok or any other service you could choose a 
a, a portrait one as well so in this case i'm going to go ahead and choose the landscape click next and here you could go ahead and change the, the text saying this as episode two i can do that a bit of that i can also go and format the text a bit as well there you go you just have to sort of the right i'm going to go go make it a bit slightly bigger something like that add to video now i've got that um next up i can actually go and close that one box i can actually go and change the image a bit if i want to change the image i can just delete the existing image and instead i want to go ahead and uh, add a new image something like that you see the point and uh, next up i wanted to go and change the the waveform so you can select from different types of waveforms and stuff like that so i'm going to select this waveform here and cancel that um, and now once i'm happy with that i can actually go ahead and export the video so what it does is it takes a minute or two depending on the size of your audio um, length of the audio it's going to take a few minutes to get the, get the audiogram prepared for you so i've already have let while that's happening i'm just going to go back to my microsoft stream and go ahead and click upload a file and then I have an existing file that I have here. I'm going to drag that here. So this is previously created um, uh, using using uh, the Headliner app. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and publish it. That's how you would actually go and create, um, uh, convert your audio files into audiograms uh, into an MP4 format using a Headliner app and then share it uh, share it on Microsoft Stream. Thanks for watching. This is Jag Kakalapudi uh, from Modern Work uh, Group based in Melbourne, Australia. We help small and medium businesses with their Office 365 user training requirements and also we do consulting services as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.